Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outdoors. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix sorry you have been blocked on any website. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, receiving this issue that says sorry you have been blocked on any website means that there are a few things they need to address here and also th things they need to take in consideration. So first things first is you need to open up your browser here. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome here. So in this case, go ahead and open up your browser. But in this case, the step I'll be showing you are actually quite similar to each other, but it actually depends on the browser they're using. But then again, the steps are quite similar. So what we need to do is we first need to make sure that we have the apps or the actual browser up to date. So typically what you need to do is you just need to click on the G dotted icon here. From here, you want to go to settings. Now under settings, click on you and Google. And from here, okay, so you need to go to the very bottom here, just click on about Chrome instead. Now it should show you updating Chrome here, or it's going to be uh, going to be updated now. In this case, just make sure that your browser is up to date. So making sure that your browser up to date allows you to uh, access different websites, because like, then again, websites are evolving. There are certain features that they need to have or they need to meet for them to be able to, or your browser need to meet for, the, for your browser to actually access that website. So it's more on for security reasons. Now, another thing that you need to take in consideration here is going to be your extensions. Now, typically you just need to click on extensions here. And from here, what you need to do is you need to make sure that your extensions are actually up to date. Now, meaning go ahead and click on the update button at the top left here if you see it. Now, another thing that you need to take consideration here is, for example, you're able to access a specific website and suddenly the website no longer work. Sometimes apps or extensions are the cause for this one. So in this case, go ahead and locate the last extension that you've last installed and try uninstalling them. Now, once you've uninstalled, access the website again and see if that solves the issue. Now, another thing that you can check here is going to be your cache. Now, in this case, at the top right here, go ahead and click on three dotted icon. From here, choose history. Now, from here, we'll go ahead and click on the history button here. Now, what we need to do is we just need to click on the delete browsing data at the bottom left side here. And from here, you can choose the specific time, the time frame that you want to do delete. Like for example, all time four weeks, seven days, 24 hours, and last hour. In this case, you could go and choose either browsing history, cookies and other side data, and cache images and files. In this case, once you've selected all the data that you want to uh, delete, go ahead and click on delete data, and from then on, restart your browser and see if that solves the issue. And finally, if you're still having issues, sometimes it's more on the servers. So meaning if you're accessing a website that is for a specific country, sometimes countries or your IP address will be blocked. So certain countries are blocked from accessing a specific website. So if you want to actually access that, then most likely you need to actually use a VPN for you to access them. Like for example, if a website that you're trying to access is going to be the US, go ahead and choose a VPN and use US as the server. Now most likely you'll now be able to start using or you'll be able to start seeing that website since they're using the same server. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.